en route to recording his 3,000th hit on a home run off of Tampa Bay Rays pitcher David Price. That one's drilled deep to left field. Going back, Joyce. Looking up. See ya. 3,000. History with an exclamation point. I wasn't sure it was going to be a home run. I mean, I, I've hit some home runs. Um, I was hoping, but... Uh, Afterwards, it was it was relief. You know, I was excited, but I was, to be honest with you, I was pretty relieved. Oh, what a way to join the 3,000 hit club! Derek Jeter has done it in grand style. W I C R. And we're back, and welcome back to W I C R again. And today we have joining us Iona College's own famous swimmer player, my first pal at Iona College, Mr. Tommy Keith. Yay! Uh, What's going on, Mr. Tommy Keith? Nothing much. How about yourself? We're doing good today. We're talking about today. We, we have Tommy Keith here for a reason. My event on campus is coming up. It's called Iona College's third annual Story Slam. It's about people coming up and saying stories that have transformed them and Thomas or Tommy Keith has won it was the first winner of yeah. Iona College's Story Slam and he is an active participant in Iona College's Story Slam and we have him here today we're going to interrogate him and ask him what he thinks about Story Slam even though I'm the host of it and you can't really say anything bad about it <laughs> Obviously. and it doesn't mean that you're getting any extra points <laughs> it's your story Tommy this year What's, huh? This is an extra credit for your story this year. I'm sorry to break uh, it to you. Right. It's okay. But we're going to ask you a few questions. Chris, do you want to start it off? See, I'm a little bit confused right now. So I think He's you confused. Should, I'm confused. So. <laughs> we're going to start it off. So you won the first year, yeah. Tommy Keefe. I did. It was and pretty can dope. You tell the WICR listeners what your story was about. So my story was about... Um, my senior year, this freshman kid, Matt, he was on my swim team, and he was mad fast. He was a like nationally ranked swimmer. And um, it was just pretty much about how I, me and him were like assigned, like I was his older brother, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we just had, it was just a wild ride. He had it was the depression issues and was mm -hmm. battling that all year. And okay, the chills, what are you talking about? Just, yeah, it was bad. It was bad, but it was, it, mm -hmm. it turned out that he, you know, me and him became really close along with the rest of our team and he's doing great things now. I think he committed to Stanford. Like, he next committed week. to Stanford? I think so. It's like Stanford or like oh my some God. Big Ten school. Oh he's my goodness. kicking it, yeah. He's kicking it. Are they going to verse Iona in, your future, in the future years? Or are uh, in the same conference or no? Nah, I'd, nah. We're not in the same conference. Yeah, we're too good. <laughs> You're too good. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Tommy Gabe, D1 swimmer. You know. In the building. You still talk to um, your friend? Oh, yeah. On the rec? Yeah, all, so, all the time. I call all so time. this is like, like your senior year of high school? Senior year of high school, yeah. Are you a sophomore now? Or? No, I'm a junior. a junior. junior. He's a junior. And yeah. how old is your friend? He's a senior. Yeah, he's a senior now. That's awesome. Yeah. And we'll tell us a little bit about how much it mean to you winning it first year because that was so fresh to you that story yeah well it was just one of those like the teacher i my one-on-one -on -one speech class was like if you do it you'll <laughs> you know you'll get a a in the final or something like if you win it you know, bribes like, the speech department we use bribes and i was like <laughs> I, well i mean she said to the whole class but i was like i like telling stories so mm -hmm. i mean yeah. i was like why not and then when i got up there and did it People seem to respond positively to so it. So what year was the story actually told? In Freshman year. Yeah. So two years ago, basically? Yeah, yeah two years. Th that's crazy. That was two years, almost two years ago already. Uh, I remember that yeah. like it was yesterday. Yeah, it was really I, cool though. I liked it. it must I know, been, that's why you that, came back. Yeah, that's why. It must have been a great I'm story back. then. That's why I probably, oh why? That was a wild story. I will never really, forget that story. story. I was a contestant that year. Yeah. I will never forget it. I can probably tell the whole thing to you. I'm getting chills right now. <laughs> yeah. You can't see right now. I'm absolutely getting chills just thinking about it because that was so moving. And thank you for sharing with that. Yeah, that's that story. Absolutely. This last the first semester of Story Slam. So can you tell us a little bit about your experience the second year around? So the second year, obviously, it was different. We had that Viewer's Choice Award yeah. and the whole thing. But I went and first, and you, and, and you hosted. And not hosted, so you, you, know, you, did, know. you did a great job. <laughs> Thanks, obviously. Tom Keefe. <laughs> little kissing up. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> but, um, but, no, nah, it was mad fun. Um, my story, <laughs> I... told us about it. I, I told... My story was about... Um, well, your sister. My sister, but I, it was a little too. She just had surgery, and I was trying to like tell that she's recovering from it. And I, 
and I just choked up on stage, and I was like, yeah, my sister's the bomb, and then, like, I put the <laughs> mic up, and I walked off. Like, I, that was nothing to do with my story. I just, Aww. like, couldn't finish. But it was mad fun. It was mad fun. The, a lot of people did it. A lot of people a showed up. A lot of people showed up. A lot more up. people the second so time So many people showed up to watch. I know, because oh. my good promoting yeah, skills. Yeah, a lot of people showed up to watch. I was not expecting that. And just plus, that many people. There was a, 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 a way more people than I thought of and to show up. Maybe that made you a little bit nerve. A little I, bit nervous. Oh, I was so nervous. And then, yeah, I told the it was story. A, it was a good home. story, though. How is your sister now, by the way? Oh, she's kicking it. She's, she's uh, kicking it. She's, yeah, she's doing. She's kicking butt. She's uh, <laughs> running cross country now. Where? Where is yeah, she running cross country? At my high school. At our high school, Libertyville High School. Is, what year is she in now? She's a sophomore now. <gasps> Aww. Yeah, just, you know, she's got a boyfriend. Uh, uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Tom and Keith, older brother on alert on, yeah, on yeah, the loose yeah. over here. No, he's a good kid, though. <laughs> she's she's awesome. So, Aww. fully recovered. Yay. Because yeah. she had something with her. She had back. 13, four, or no, 15 uh, vertebrae fused together, and then five of those vertebrae had to be replaced and oh, substituted with, like, a donor bone stuff. Like, she's got a bunch of rods and nails in oh. her back. Oh, my God. Was, if she goes through, like, a little. The screening check, she yeah, right yeah, up, like, it goes bulb. off. Like Bing. in the winter time, the cold, the the metal like freezes and it like makes her back oh, real cold. Oh my goodness, that's wild. Yeah, that, that it's a be, wild thing. Yeah, that's it's amazing that she can run with that. With the, that. The, well, now her like, back's like metal. strong. Now that's fully recovered, it's actually stronger than it was before her surgery. Oh, oh that's, my that's goodness, perfect. that's good. That's so good. yeah, that's so, crazy. That's, I'm so happy yeah. for your sister. Yeah, it's awesome. And she's back in action. Back in action. What you, is that going to be an indicator of what you're going to say this semester no, for no. Story Slim? My story, I've never told this story to anyone <gasps> at this school. Wow. What? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, good. It's a pretty wild story. Uh, 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 there you go. There you go. That's it, though. That's awesome. all you get. Uh, that's all I'm getting? Yeah. Tommy Keith, I want to know your stories. Your stories are good. <laughs> I try. I try my best, but no, nah, I can't. I can't just tell it here. Then everyone will know. Tell me, I C R. We want to know. First to know. <laughs> no, listen. See, with me, I don't have a lot of good stories in my life. Mm. So when I tell stories, they're usually made up. But <laughs> <laughs> Fantasy stories. <laughs> That's me. Let's talk to Pegnata. Maybe we can get her, get Chris in. Yeah, there some you go. Fantasy well, stories. Definitely. What we should do is just like, just like have like another event, maybe like later in maybe the spring of. Fantasy stories. Fantasy story slam. Professor Pignata, if you are listening, prof- uh, fantasy story slam. That's a good idea. If you're listening, I'll see you in class. I'll be <laughs> <laughs> You'll be late. I'll be in class. <laughs> Gotta love her. I need my shout out to my professor, Professor Defino. I'm in class today. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what else are you looking forward to for this year's story slam? Well, I just really enjoy listening to other people tell stories, especially a lot of people that have told stories. I... I either kind of knew or didn't really know at all. So mm-hmm. then it's kind of, you know, the story the story that they're telling is something that has moved them personally or, like, changed their life. So then mm-hmm. pretty much gives you an insight on who that person, like, is as a person. Yes. So I just learned about 15 brand new people that Most I would have not known if it wasn't Absolutely. for this event. Well, Absolutely. some people also do that with fantasy stories. They put themselves into it and they, but you're right. More personal stories is better. Well, yeah, to it's the personal stories is literally like about them. Yeah, yeah. Something that has changed yeah. their life, like an event right. that has been right. so significant that it it changed them as a person for the better. Obviously, right. absolutely. Yeah. and that's why I got out of my first year. That's why I wanted to come on to Story Slam itself because I will I will never forget that's your first story. Yeah, and that, that really good. motivated me to be like I want to know more about people and that's what kind of inspired me to be a journalism oh, wow. major so thanks Tommy Key for I a little know, bit of inspiration no oh, goosebumps across the board right now <laughs> I may, um, um, I may. And, and you too Chris I may and tell a story um, if I was going to do it I would, I would tell definitely actually a uh, story of getting the call, uh, my um, my my um, my last year of high school getting going save it for Story Slam yeah you gotta save Chris, it you gotta save do it. it on Story Slam save it yeah, we'll sign them up right now. Sign up and do it. What Professor day? Pignata, we have one more contestant. What day is it? What day? <laughs> it is Wednesday, November 5th. Oh, what time? 6.30 in the end zone. Okay, so yeah. Sign. It's going to be popping. Where it is going to be popping. Where do I sign up? You have to email Professor Pignata at dpignata at gales, it's not gales, at iona.edu. And it's, I love the event. That's why it's awesome. it's, I signed up for it because you learn so much about people that you never would have known before. And my roommates, they didn't know me at first. And when I met them last year for the first time, they're like, yeah, you were that girl from Story Slam. Do I have to email a story? 
you have to just do like a little paragraph or just even go up to Professor Pagnon and just say that you're going to do it and just say a little summary of your story so she can, you get the okay to go. So I'll give her, I'll, I'll send her a paragraph tonight. Yeah. yeah. And you'll send I, don't know, I don't know if I can find, could you write down the name before we leave? Absolutely. And it's on the Facebook too. They have a Twitter. Oh, Tom McKee, mm-hmm. didn't follow the Twitter yet. We have a Twitter this year. Oh, we have a Twitter. Oh, we have a Twitter. We're, we're going, oh, we're wow. getting technological up in here. That's crazy. We have a Twitter. We have Facebook. So it's all these informations on the Twitter and Facebook uh, and all that jazz. All right. And yeah, what Tom, speaking of what, getting back to what you said before, what, story has stood out for you the most over the past few years um uh, what story there's so many to there's choose from. there's a lot of stories hmm. what did you find out about someone that you didn't know before well the one that that sticks out to me the most mm-hmm. and because it was it was freshman year and i i, I don't i don't remember his name but it was <laughs> Same story. It was the story. So I recognize this kid because he wears jerseys like every. <gasps> Jersey! Jersey no! So like <laughs> no! all, all, of, all of freshman year, I was like, why is this kid wearing a jersey every day? <laughs> <laughs> like, I did w- so I didn't get it yeah, like, at all. I didn't understand it. I was like, why? And then he came on and he was like, "Yeah." And then I've been, I've just been wearing jerseys. And then he killed it like at what was it like a high school? His high school like homecoming or something? Yes, like, I remember that. Yes. And I was like Jersey Joe, and it, he was he was hype. Like you could tell he was hype <laughs> telling the story, and you could you just you know, that was just that. And I was like, oh, we'll right, see Joe. him at the end of the show. He maybe he's gonna probably show up. So we're gonna tell Jersey Joe the, that you've said that because that will probably the show. Oh, I want to show up. Oh, yes, yeah, Jersey hours. Joe. Oh, he probably is over there right now, but. No, this, this is one of those. Uh, What's going on? Anyone tours? But that's oh yes. my god! I, that's so uh, funny that you said that because that besides your story, that was a story that's so, yeah. We, Tommy, we get it. We get it. We get it. Oh yeah. So what besides Chris's stories? What else are you looking forward to this year? Just in this general, g- this semester for the story slam. Story slam. I I don't know. I just I like hearing new stories. I hope new people come and yes. and tell something. There's a lot. To s- there's 15 people th- as of That's right crazy. now. There's 15 people signed up for a story slam, That's and crazy. they're not. They can't drop out this semester. No way. Last year we you had a quite a few dropouts, and I wasn't okay with that because you pr- you know I put a lot of time and effort into story slam, yeah. and I love doing it. And when someone backs out, especially with the um the voting the viewer's choice award, I was very upset by it. So this year oh, no yeah, dr- choice, the yeah, viewers yeah, choice that award was, that was what, tell me what you think about that because that was Professor Pignata's idea I think it's dope I think it's a great idea What's the Professor Pignata's an amazing idea it's a, what, what the viewers choice is is at the end last year we were changing it up this year at the end of the um, all the storytellers go we're gonna open up a texting line and whoever gets the most texts wins a prize this yeah, year. Yeah, wins a prize. And um, then, um, what, then, then, how do you win? Uh, you won. How do you win that? Well, that, that's just points. It's just yeah. Well, I want from you. Mean how did I win? Like the the contest? Yeah. I can tell well, you. Well, I think there's like judges. There's three judges this year. There's gonna be four, and it's co-sponsored by the um, international students department. And Jerry Martin, I believe, is going to be a judge. So. And uh, WICR's own Kenny Reichman is gonna be a judge this year as well. All right, so, Kenny. Kenny Reichman, I'll tell you what we're judged. Actually, I'm not telling you what we're judged on because that's going to give you a little up. So you're, I don't you're, know. I'm not. I'm not I'm cheetah, what? cheetah, pumpkin eater. Uh, I don't right. know, but they're judged on quite a few criteria. But Tom Keith did the best that year, and the best man won this yeah. first time around. And this year, I'm hoping nothing but the best for you. Thank you. Yeah. I know you're going to I, know. I, just, yeah. I mean, if I win, I win. If I don't, it's okay. Break I, leg. People, I think I, this story is pretty funny. We don't, we, we don't want him to break a leg. He's our... No, Famous swimmer no, over no, here. No, he's no, on the swim. He's no, on the swim. Team. You know. I'm an actor, so I have to say regular. Right <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I get yeah. it. I understand it, but I think, t- Mr. Tom Keith, if actor. you have time, we're gonna do oh. one more little segment after this commercial break. And right. if you don't mind, can you stick around for that? Yeah, I'll be around. All right, awesome. So we're gonna take a little commercial break. We'll be right back with Mr. Tom Keith. WICR presents another great New York sports moment. And it looks like it's gonna be Mo. 